Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, and welcome to another video. Now, I am very, very excited today because the courier has just been at the door and we have received something we've been waiting a few weeks for, and that is Alan Wallace's photographing the Astros book. Now, this has been a long time coming. It's not the cheapest book on the planet, but now we're going to see my first impressions and I would say unboxing, but it's not really unboxing. So sit down, relax, and enjoy the video. That's right, so let's get cracking. The uh, unboxing was pretty simple. It came in a standard, what we kind of call Amazon box, nothing special, and then is wrapped up in just some white paper so let's open it up i've got the camera over here so you can kind of see and here it is and my god that is i mean even just for the amount of paper that price is justified this is a behemoth of a book now i'll tell you something I wasn't expecting something so thick. Um, now, some of you have maybe seen Alan's video where he goes through the book and the first time he sees the book. I didn't watch that video purely because I wanted to see my first impressions of what I think of this book. So, photography in the night sky, all about technique, planning, and processing. So let's move this across so we get a nice view. For you that haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I'm, I have to say the print at the front is pretty good. Uh, that's the kind of the main print from Alan's YouTube intro page the back and I mean you can hear me because this is I mean this is probably a good one and a half kilos I would say maybe even two so let's put this down and open it up for the first time signed because I was one of the first people to buy it before the general release so that's gonna hold its worth probably in the future Alan don't let me down and fold the little edges there but let's have a look of what's inside i really like the way the contents have been set out clear nice bold writing now starting with the first photos over here Okay, these are, in my opinion, a little bit dark. But I really love the detail in the sky and that's what's most important. And let's have a skim through it. First kind of double page. Nice silhouette photo there and again. The paper's almost like, it's not silky smooth. There's a little bit of a consistency to it, which probably is there for a reason to make the prints better but those stars here now are amazing i mean the detail of the print is pretty good and i've got some astrophotography photos up behind me there and i'm hoping there's a section on how to print and what papers to print but let's have a look we've got equipment over here and again, I like it because there's obviously the info that you need and obviously some of the nice prints included over here. Bit about cameras. Moving on to zooms. Let's 
some information about primes, prime versus zooms. I mean, it's designed in a very nice, readable, manageable manner, in my opinion. Shutter release, head torches, ball heads, again, some more photos. I mean, this is not only just a book to learn from, but it's also a photo book in a sort. So you have some great photos here focusing and again I'm just browsing through it for the first time so I'm not going to go through every single page composing in the dark using stacking trackers panoramas which is something I'm really interested in getting different techniques for panoramas a little bit about the seasons so a nice bit of information here about you know typical astro stuff about the moon the seasons super moons calendars again some more shots some beautiful photos in here light pollution I mean this book just goes on and on and on and I mean I've never been a book buying person and that's purely because you buy these books, sometimes they're like yay thin, 50, 100 pages, they cost 30, 40 pounds and there's not really much info in here. But I mean, you're looking at this and it's, like I said, not only a book of beautiful photos and prints, but from what I can tell, moon photography, oh here's a nice shot with a moon in good old London with a shard. It's, this covers, I think, pretty much everything. Again, some Milky Way shots, different parts of the Milky Way. Looks like some photo pills info here as well. Meteors, dates, times, locations, wow. Even space station, again, apps to use, how to set up your camera, some auroras here as well, and again, some good knowledge base of where auroras come from and how they materialize. Lucent clouds I can see in here. I mean there's pretty much and again settings little hints to take a photo and this is pretty good take a photo put it in your camera you have the settings I mean there's pretty much everything for everyone here a bit of nature about glowing mushrooms never knew there was glowing mushrooms on the planet but there you go, I've just learnt something new. Little light pollution map with photography locations, sky parks, and then trying to find this is a nightmare sometimes, so this is good to have. European locations uh, with examples brilliant Iceland so you can pretty much see I mean this is exactly what I've been looking for and again I haven't gone through it in detail but it looks like every continent here is covered with places to go examples so you can see if it's the photo or the composition you are looking for Middle East, Europe, 
What do we got here? Asia. New Zealand, Australia. I mean, this is brilliant. Post-processing, interesting. Ah, so different types of software you could use. Probably some pros, some cons. A little bit of settings over here. White balance. I mean, like I said, I haven't gone through this in great detail because it's the first time I have opened it up. But I can comfortably say that in something this thick, you are bound, I think, to to find everything in here. Shutter speeds, and again, I'm just gonna have another quick brass, foreground, background composition. I am very impressed and very much looking forward to, I mean, this is quite cool, measuring degree distances of your hands. I knew about the 10 degrees going up from the horizon, but Here's some more 25 degrees. Uh, yeah. I mean, this looks absolutely incredible. So I'm really looking forward to start going through it just for those who are really, really interested. Including the index 500 and 75 pages so i wouldn't call it a book i would call it more of an encyclopedia i'm really looking forward to getting stuck in this and learning some more thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one everybody goodbye for now